What's going on, baseball fans? How are we doing? So after a sweep of my Red Sox this weekend, should we consider the Yankees as the most dangerous team in the American League? Let's go talk about it. Okay, so here we go. Like I said, the Yankees just swept my Red Sox this past weekend. They've won six straight games. They're 7-3 and three in their last 10, and they have taken over sole possession of the first wild card spot. So the question is, if the Yankees do end up making the playoffs, should we consider them as the most dangerous team in the American League, even more than the Rays, even more than the White Sox? And I think there is an argument to be made. Sure, they've had a bit of an up-and-down season. They're a very hot and cold team, but... If we take a look at the numbers, I think the Yankees, they have an argument here to be considered the most dangerous team in the AL. If we take a look at the offense since September 13th, they are second in OPS. They are third in walk percentage. They are first in hard hit percentage. They are second in barrel percentage. These Yankees right now are killing the ball. If we take a look at the stats over the last couple of weeks. Giancarlo Stan has been leading the way. This guy is just demolishing baseballs. That's why they brought Stan to the Bronx to just hit balls all the way to Mars. In the last two weeks, he's hitting 320 with a 352 on base, a 760 slugging, seven home runs in the last two weeks, 17 RBIs. Take a look at Aaron Judge. He's got four home runs and 13 RBIs despite a low batting average and a low on base, but that's okay. Some of these other guys are stepping up in those departments. Joey Gallo has been quietly doing doing very well in the last two weeks. He has six home runs. He's hitting 270, a 357 on base. Take a look at Gio Urshela. I haven't heard anything about him. This guy in the last two weeks is hitting 341 with a 370 on base. How about Brett Garner? He's getting on base at a 360 clip uh, in the last two weeks. These Yankees, they're really stepping up in the lineup right now. When this Yankees offense is hot, they are extremely dangerous. I don't think any pitching staff wants to go up against this Yankees team right now. Uh, like I said, these guys, and you guys got other guys, DJ LeMay, who's been heating up lately, Anthony Rizzo, I mean, Gary Sanchez, I mean, he's always a power threat. Uh, this Yankees offense is definitely dangerous. Let's take a step away from the offense and let's take a look at the starting pitching in the last couple of weeks. Since September 13th, the Yankees are first in wins above replacement. They are first in strikeouts per nine and they are second in clutch. These Yankees pitchers are doing very well in the starting rotation and Surprisingly enough, Jordan Montgomery has been the guy to lead the pack. This guy has been awesome over his last three starts. Uh, over his last three starts, about 16 innings pitched, a 1.65 a ERA, a 1.63 FIP, 12 strikeouts per nine. Jordan Montgomery, he is quietly having a really good year. Let's take a look at the numbers he's put up this year. Uh, quietly putting up some really solid numbers this year. A 3.49 ERA, a 3.42 FIP, over 154 and two thirds innings pitched, 29 starts. Jordan Montgomery's been uh, very good this year for the Yankees. And look at someone like Nestor Cortez over his last three starts, a 3.60 ERA, 13 strikeouts per nine. He's been doing really good this year. Uh, I mean, what a good year for him, a 2.85 ERA overall, a 3.77 FIP. The Yankees, I feel like they needed another guy in this starting rotation. And Nestor Cortez has really stepped up for them. Um, if we take a look also, Corey Kluber just came back recently. Recently. I feel like he needs to kind of start getting those innings up there a little bit. Um, over his last two starts, he's been pretty solid. A 2.61 ERA, a 2.48 FIP. You know, hey, Corey Kluber, maybe not really too much of that strikeout guy anymore, but hey, Corey Kluber, the one thing he does well is he does not walk a lot of guys. And let's take a look at Garrett Cole as well. Garrett Cole definitely got hit hard by the Indians a couple of starts ago, but he pitched pretty well against my Red Sox in his last start. Uh, and hey, Garrett Cole is one of the best pitchers in the game. Overall, he's having a very good season. 29 starts, uh, just under 200 innings pitched, but a 3.08 ERA. That FIP is definitely better at a 2.83. And the strikeouts per nine, uh, or oh, that's his game log. Let's actually go here. The strikeouts per nine this year, over 12 strikeouts per nine this year, just around one home run per nine, two walks per nine. Garrett Cole is definitely in the Cy Young conversation. Probably won't win it because Robbie, Robbie Ray is just running away with it at this point. But this starting rotation... There is a lot to like with this starting rotation, and I would be confident going into the playoffs with this starting rotation. If you think for the wild card game, um, Garrett Cole actually lines up for the wild card game rather well. He would actually pitch in the wild card game on five days rest, so on his normal rest. So uh, Garrett Cole definitely going to go in the wild card game. But if you're going to go, and let's say the Yankees win the wild card game, if you go and if you win the wild card game, you're going to go up against the Rays in that first round. 
So in that game one, you know, you could probably go Kluber for game one and you can go Jordan Montgomery game two uh, and then Garrett Cole can go game three. And then pretty much from that point, you know, kind of just see what you got at that point. Um, but I think the Yankees are going to be okay. I mean, like I said, you're not going to have Garrett Cole right off the bat for a game one start, but I think they'll be able to make it. Sure, that Rays offense has been really good this year, very diverse, but I think this Yankees starting pitching, they can do enough to hold the Rays at bay and they can get to what has been the best part of their team this year, their bullpen. Let's go talk about that. The Yankees bullpen in the last two weeks has been dominant. They're first in wins above replacement. They are first in strikeouts per nine. They are first in barrel percentage. They're not giving up any good hits at all. They're first in FIP. This Yankees bullpen is really stepping up. And let's take a look at who is stepping up. Clay Holmes has just been disgusting for the Yankees. What a pickup. I remember when the Yankees got him uh, at the deadline, people were thinking, who the heck is Clay Holmes? This guy still He's on the Pirates. His ERA was high, but hey, not a lot of people took a look at the advanced numbers. Clay Holmes had some pretty good advanced numbers with the Pirates, and he is shining with the Yankees. Uh, in the last two weeks, over seven innings pitched, over six games, a 1.23 ERA, a 0.43 FIP, 12 strikeouts per nine. He hasn't walked anyone. He hasn't given up any home runs. Clay Holmes has been masterful out of that bullpen. Take a look at someone like Michael King. He hasn't given up a run in the last two weeks. Aroldis Chapman, hey, the closer, uh, he looks like he has turned his season around. He has four saves in the last two weeks, a 1.35 ERA. He's still racking up a ton of strikeouts, 16 strikeouts per nine. And another thing to note about this bullpen, they're going to be getting Jonathan Loisiga back. This guy has had an awesome season. He's been missing a lot of time lately due to a strained rotator cuff. Jonathan Loisiga, uh, this is going to be a nice addition to the uh, the best bullpen in the last couple of weeks, even without him. And then you're going to put him back in this bullpen. This Yankees bullpen is absolutely disgusting. And one more thing to note about the starting pitching. They are going to be getting Jameis and Tyon back. So that is just some more depth for the Yankees starting pitching. Um, you know, Jameis and Tyon, if, you know, where, whatever they end up doing with the starting pitching, Tyon is going to have some kind of a role. He's had a decent year, 27 starts this year, a 4.41 ERA, uh, you know, 4.49 FIP, you know, not the best numbers overall for a Jamison Tyon, but he will have a role in some way with this Yankees team, whether if it's starting or even coming out of the bullpen as a multi-inning reliever. Uh, Jamison Tyon is definitely going to have a role. And Jonathan Loisica, like I said, this guy's been nasty this year. To throw him back in this bullpen that has already been dominant over this last month, ugh, forget about it. Even someone like Luis Severino, he is back, finally back from injury after missing so much time due to Tommy John. But Luis Severino is going to be a weapon out of that bullpen. That was something the Yankees didn't have in the playoffs last year. I feel like they didn't have like uh, you know, someone that could go multiple innings. That bullpen was looking a little thin in the playoffs last year. And then also someone like Chad Green as well. You got a lot of guys who can come out of this bullpen. That's what I like about this Yankees bullpen is they have a lot of options now. If they can just get enough of the starting pitching and they get to this bullpen, especially against a Rays team, that this bullpen absolutely matches up with the Rays bullpen completely. You can even argue that this bullpen is better than the Rays bullpen. The advantage that I think the Yankees have, I think the Yankees have better starting pitching than the Rays, and their bullpen matches up really well. The offense, if it's hot, I would say the Rays offense can, has been way more consistent this year than the Yankees, but don't go up against a hot Yankees offense. Don't do it. It's probably one of the worst things you can do, and I mean... If the, if the Yankees are clicking at the right time against the Tampa Bay Rays, I can absolutely see the Yankees beating that Rays team. And then whoever they end up, if they make it to the ALCS going up against the Astros or the White Sox, which is most likely going to be that first round matchup. I think this Yankees team, in my personal opinion, I think they're the most dangerous team in the American League right now because, like I said, the offense is hot, they have enough starting pitching, and they have Garrett Cole, uh, which, hey, Garrett Cole is kind of a nice thing to have in your rotation. And this bullpen has been just absolutely nasty. Look out for the New York Yankees. They are very dangerous. I think this New York Yankees team can absolutely make a run to the World Series. They're on fire right now. Look out for them. But tell me what you think down below in the comments. Do you think the Yankees are 
just as dangerous as I think they are? Do you think they're, you know, hey, this is kind of just a mirage? Do you think this is kind of whatever? They'll cool down in the playoffs or the Rays will, you know, handle them easily? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. But that's all I have for right now. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.